Hi there, this is Anna DeLopo. I'm a licensed acupuncturist and I practice in beautiful Laguna Hills in Southern California in Orange County. This is my 90th video and this will be my ninth video on fertility. I've done eight videos uh, previously specifically on natural fertility. This is going to be um, whether a woman is trying to come in for natural fertility or um, with Western fertility care. What I mean by Western fertility care is if you are under the um, care of a Western fertility doctor, you're getting IUI or IVF or um, anything that uh, definitely relates to a Western fertility specialist, I call that Western fertility care. So um, the reason why I'm doing my ninth video, my 90th video is my ninth video on fertility is because currently I'm treating even more fertility cases than what would be considered normal in my practice. From 1999 to 2006, I took all fertility cases, Western fertility care as well as natural fertility care. Um, just natural, wanting to get pregnant without any medications. And then 2007, I stopped taking all fertility cases. 2008, going forward until about a few months ago, it is right now, no, um, October 2019, I have taken only natural fertility cases with a few um, selective Western fertility care cases that's, um, that, I, uh, that I chose deliberately. Um, several months ago, my colleague was um, diagnosed with a very serious health issue, and um, I am taking care of all of his patients temporarily, and um, while his office is temporarily closed. So um, I'm even busier than normal. I was already busy, and I'm even busier, and these are all uh, a good portion of my practice is 60 to 80 percent fertility cases right now. Um, if you go to my website, elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com, keep in mind this is a new website. I'm rebranding. It's going to take me about three to 12 months to get all of my previous e uh, my information on my previous websites, moveyourchi.com and committedtobetterme.com. I'm transferring them all to elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com. It's quite a feat, but there's um, and I'm grateful for that because it means that I've posted a lot of information over the years since I started having my first website in 2006, but it's, it's, it's really good. We're, we're rebranding so many things in my practice right now. The website is definitely um, a huge part of our rebranding. So the reason why I cre I'm creating this, web, uh, this um, video is because there are some serious common denominators, common traits among a majority of my fertility cases, whether they're for natural fertility or they're coming in for Western fertility care, uh, with Western fertility care under the, um, the guidance of their Western fertility specialists on the Western medicine side. Um, and I just wanna bring them up. There are 10 particular um, topics that I'm just going to briefly discuss. Um, if you decide to hire me or if you are already hiring me, please consider some of the things that I'm sharing. I want nothing more than to help you achieve your goals. And I truly believe that some of these things um, can help you. I am not a fertility specialist. Um, I'm not a Western fertility specialist. I'm not an Eastern medicine fertility specialist. But I do have a very remarkable success rate. If you go to elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com, uh, elements you'll see that I created a section just for f fertility, pregnancy care, and natural induction, um, preparation for natural labor. And um, I'm slowly posting a lot of the testimonials and case studies and videos that I've done over the years. Before I used to just throw them in with the other testimonials, but now the way that I'm branding my website is fertility, pregnancy care, and natural preparation for birth are in one section. Pain, I, my specialty is helping people graduate from pain and suffering. Um, I'm very good at treating a lot of things that um, people are suffering from, autoimmune issues, um, musculoskeletal issues, internal health issues, especially digestive issues. Um, so pain-related cases are all on their own. And then you'll see how I, um, how I organize the rest of my website. So the first thing I want to post is, the share, is reduce your stress. Now, I post a lot on social media, 
especially regarding my practice. And one thing that I shared is that the moment you can be completely honest with your stress level, the sooner you will achieve your goals. Um, a lot of times women come in and they say, I'm not very stressed out. And I can see from their health, their, um, their health questionnaire, I can see that they are on a fight or flight uh, mode much of their day, 50 to 90% of their day. They're under a time constraint. They've got to be here. They've got to be there. They work very hard. And um, it's not uncommon where people say, well, I don't feel very stressed out when I can see clearly you are, um, that person is dealing with uh, tremendous stress, uh, stress. On a scale of one to 10, um, the only credibility I have in talking about fertility is that I have a tremendous uh, success rate with fertility. And so that's my only claim to fame when it comes to helping women get pregnant naturally or with Western fertility care. So I'm not a bomb certified um, uh, American Board Obstetrics Medicine certified or whatever it is. Um, I, so I just wanna make it very clear, this is not my specialty. I am just extremely, I have a very good success rate. And so what I'm sharing with you are simply my opinions and things that I've just observed as an acupuncturist, as a practitioner of Chinese medicine. And um, if you're going to hire me or if you are hiring me as a quote unquote expert in the field of helping you get pregnant, I would hope that um, a lot of my opinions do matter. So when I'm sharing something like, you really gotta check and see how your stress level is. On a scale of one to 10, I would say most women come in between a five to a nine and um, literally not trying to get pregnant for a woman, I think she can function really well at a four because that means you average between a two to a six. If you're trying to get pregnant, I can tell you, you can't afford to feel stress. I want your stress level at a two or a one. So a lot of the women that I have helped get pregnant over the years for the last going on 21 years now, a huge component of our work together was helping them feel amazingly relaxed and um, not as tense, not as um, feeling so much pressure as they did prior to seeing me. Um, a woman came in today, 30 years old, beautiful girl, beautiful young lady, and she said her stress level is a seven. And I, I looked at her, I said, just looking at your paperwork, I can tell that your stress level lands between a four to a nine, depending on the day. And um, I knew it was more like between a six to a nine. Just, just looking at your paperwork, I can tell. Just looking at your lifestyle, I can tell. And um, she, she said my stress level's at a seven. Something that I share with my patients is there are so many changes that need to be done and I do hope that you take advantage of some of the advice that I have to give. One of the things that I've shared is you can work very hard for a company, give them 150% of your skill set and be extremely great as an employee or a partner in your field or in your industry and in, in, in the um, in the office that you work for or work with, you can be an amazing employee. But in 10 years, you can be an amazing employee or you can be an amazing mom. And I say this as a mother of a 15-year-old, a nine-year-old, and a two-year-old. The only difference, the main difference between many women who work very hard and me is that in my 20s, I am now 45. Um, throughout my 20s, I received acupuncture since I was 20, one to five times a week, and I've been taking herbs almost daily for the last 25 years. So um, I was able to cure a lot of my health issues prior to wanting kids. I literally worked on my health for 10 years before I was able to start wanting to, before I decided I'm going to try to have kids, which was at age 30. I had my kids at 30, 36, and 43. The 43-year-old came, the baby came when I was 43. 
when I was, I was perfect health, I still am in perfect health. My periods are perfect. My mental health is perfect. Well, you know, not necessarily perfect, but you know, I work on my mental health. I mean, there are so many things. I, I am constantly working on making sure that I'm on top of my mental, emotional, physical health. I mean, I don't want to say my mental health is perfect. I mean, we, you know, we all have moments of being stressed out, but it's how we handle the situations. You know, I might just have it, you know, have a moment for like five seconds to an hour and then I'll resolve the situation and then I'm back to feeling natural. So I just want to make it clear that in my 20s, I really worked on my health, which is not what many women focus on in their 20s. The 20s, the 30s, that's when we're really very, very much fertile. And it's not fair when it comes to school, um, in high school and college for men and women. It's not fair because as girls and boys and young adults, we go to high school, we go to college, and it's expected of us to do really well in school and to go get a great career. But something that they never tell us in school, as women, is that, hey, one day you might want to decide to have kids. And if that's the case, you probably are the one who's going to have to do all the sacrificing. It took me a very long time. My office is 1,600 square feet. Upstairs is two and a half rooms where my kids play. And I have a personal assistant. I have a nanny, someone who helps me with the kids. It took me a long time to earn this position in life. Um, no one ever really shares that in school, that the person who might have to deal with most, if not all, of the sacrificing and raising kids and trying to get pregnant and balancing the life would normally have to be the woman. There are more and more homemakers that are men now, but still, I would say a good 80 plus percent, if not 90 plus percent of the population, at least here in Orange County, are women. Um, who are the ones taking care of the children. So um, look at my life this morning, I drove my daughter to school at six, she started school at 6.40 in the morning. Um, it's only been in the last month or so that I've had a personal assistant who's picking up my children, but up and for the last 15 years, I've done all the picking up, all the driving, all the driving to all the activities. So there is stress when it comes to women trying to get pregnant. I see it in at least 98% of my patients. The young woman who came in today, who's 30, when we were talking about her stress level, um, there was a family member who was in the room. I said, do you feel comfortable with this family member in the room so I can share with you something? She said, I feel really comfortable sharing. And I said, um, your stress level's too high. And uh, when she admitted that her stress is a seven, her family member later on told me, I didn't know her stress level was that high. Um, so I'll really go into detail about this in person. Um, I can tell you the sooner you are very clear with being in that fight or flight mode um, a lot of the times during the day, having to look at your schedule, having to be here, having to be there, having to drive fast, having to eat fast, not getting enough sleep, not being able to take care of yourself, not being able to exercise very well, um, being at, um, you know, having to react to life as opposed to being the person who's creating your life. Being in a, you know, like I tell patients um, to get a particular book that'll teach them exactly what I want them to eat. I, I want to teach you how to fish. And one of my patients said, I'm, you know, I'm not willing to make these changes. If you continue to do what you've always done, you're going to continue to get what you've always got. If you want things in your life to change, you have to change things in your life. So when people tell me, I don't have time to read, I don't have time to make these changes, well, then you don't have time to make a baby. You don't have time to raise a baby. Babe, you know, like if someone says, you know, um, if there's, if it's an issue with a cash flow and buying the book that's anywhere between twenty to sixty dollars, I can tell you, children cost a lot of money. You're looking at whether it's a diaper service or you're buying diapers. That is something that you can't. It's, it's. I have a two-year-old. It, it, it's relentless. It is relentless. Um, you know, whether you breastfeed or you formula feed, you know. 
um, your baby won't be able to breastfeed the whole time. You're just going to be you're going to have to buy baby food. You're, you may want to supplement and doing baby food, uh, breastfeeding with formula wipes diapers all that takes time it takes money and so if you're telling me that you are not willing to um, read even one sentence a day to learn how to eat foods that promote fertility putting aside foods that are healthier just foods that promote fertility if you're not willing to make those changes then you know it's highly unlikely that you're going to make changes that are going to really help you become more fertile um, one credibility that I do like to share is that I am a mom. I took, I have taken very great care of myself. I created new, a new little, you know, casual brand, which is Anne's Hacks, um, Anne's Life Hacks on Facebook. And um, some of the things that I've shared is my workout schedule. Um, it is like a job to me. Uh, right now it's Monday evening, so if I'm not making a video on a Monday evening here at my gym where I get four hours of child care, then I'm going to do weights. Tuesdays I do Muay Thai, Wednesdays I do a private Jiu Jitsu class and then I take a class and then Thursdays I'm off, Fridays I'm off, Saturday um, if I don't have a phone consultation with a um, acupuncture client I will do hip hop and then boxing. Um, this last weekend I took the weekend off I was just extremely sore from last week I listened to my body but as you can see I have a I have it organized. My workout schedule is important to me because my health is important to me. Every day I take herbs. Almost every day I do acupuncture. At least two to five times a week I'm doing acupuncture. I see a chiropractor. I've been on this healthier mission since I was 20 years old. So I really want you to consider looking at your life and seeing how you can lower your stress. Uh, the other day I was talking with an acupuncture client and um, I asked her, you know, it's, she said she doesn't have time to read. And um, if you don't, and then we, you know, at the end of our conversation, she understood why it was important that she read at least one sentence a day. You gotta be able to read a nutrition book at least one sentence a day and learn something that's going to promote fertility. I promote this book called Healing with Whole Foods. It is a Chinese medical textbook, not just for fertility patients, it's for everyone. I highly recommend that you buy it online. Um, it's by Paul Pitchford, write your name in it, and then I will babysit it and I will earmark all the things that you need to read. I want to teach you how to fish. I don't just want to tell you what to eat. I want you to learn the energy, what it means when I say the energy of your kidneys, the energy of your liver, the energy of your spleen, dampness, kidney yin deficiency, kidney yang deficiency, liver chi stagnation, liver fire rising, heart fire rising. I want you to learn some things, even the basics, the very, very basics. Um, say for example, something very common with most of us in our society is liver chi stagnation. And if you can understand, okay, these are the foods to relax my liver so that I, you know, bitter, sour foods to help calm the liver, open the liver, help the liver flow. And I'm not talking about the, the physiology of the liver. I'm talking about the energy of the liver. If you can understand um, what I'm talking about from a Chinese medical perspective, then guess what? You can follow the book and you'll eat foods to soothe the liver, to harmonize the liver. Um, the energy of the kidneys has to do with fertility. And if you know Jing Chi, you want to strengthen the foods, you want to eat the foods that strengthen your Jing Chi, kidney Chi. If you're kidney yin deficient, you'll eat foods to, to strengthen your kidney yin if you're kidney yang deficient. And these are things that I would highlight in your book because I know about your health because this is my passion, it's my expertise. I've been doing this since 1999. I know what, um, what foods to advise you, but I wanna make sure that you learn how to fish, not just fish, um, not just get the fish. And you know, this thing about instant gratification, uh, the woman uh, came in today and she's like, I want six to 10 treatments to help me get pregnant. And I said, that's not how it works. It's like six to 12 cycles, 12 to 18 cycles, or two to three years. This is my opinion. You can go to another acupuncturist and they'll say, I'll help you get pregnant in three months. And they are absolutely correct. I have many women that I said, this is going to take me two to three years. I get them pregnant in one to three months. I prefer to under promise and over deliver. The reason why I like to do that is because I don't want to add more stress. Because if I say, hey, hey, I can help you get pregnant in four months, but three and a half months pass and you're not pregnant yet, guess what happens to you? You start losing faith. 
you start losing hope. That was the second concept that I want to share. The first one is reduce your stress. The second one is have hope. I have a patient, um, She her first appointment, uh, she's um, she took a few appointments with me and after a while she um, I want to say I want to say five treatments um, she decided um, to cancel her appointments which is totally fine um, when she first came in the first thing she said was I have lost hope um, she doesn't have a partner she's gonna be doing this on her own um, I don't um, she had one, two, three, four, five, six appointments. And one of the things that I said to her in her last appointment was that I need for you to choose to be happy. I need for you to choose to, to think more positively. And that must have offended her, especially um, because um, looking at it, her um, profession is in the mental health um, field and she probably didn't appreciate me saying that I'd like for you to choose po more positive thoughts. When she first came in to see me, she told me, I don't have hope. So, look, I treat people with lupus, multiple sclerosis, people going through cancer therapy with their oncologists, um, people dealing with uh, respiratory issues, cardiovascular issues, digestive issues, their um, neurological issues. They can't sleep, they're only sleeping two to four hours a night for how many years, they're deprived of sleep, people suffering from severe anxiety and depression. And if any of those patients come in and they want my help, and the first thing they say is, I don't have any hope. You know, there's this thing called the placebo effect, and I'm gonna address it here. There is such a thing as a placebo effect. The reason why my websites, now I have my elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com. My previous websites were moveyourchi.com and committedtobetterme.com. Um, I did create elementsinharmony.net, but it always forwarded to committedtobetterme.com. So now we're rebranding. Everything's going to elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com. If you look at my work, a lot of my work is just, the websites are just based on testimonials, based on testimonials, based on testimonials, because I want people to see the actual value the um, the results that we're getting and they're quantifiable if you go to my website elements in harmony acupuncture.com you'll see case studies um, kidney disease stage four for example that is an actual case study where the where we were able to see the person quantifiably go from kidney stage four to kidney stage two her GFR went from uh, nine um, her GFR went from 30, I got it to 90 in one month and seven days. That's not a placebo, that is an actual, those are results. The other case study that I have that I posted, increased platelets, that's not a placebo, it's not a placebo, you see the quantifiable results. It started at 90,000 on January 27, 2018. After 62 balanced method acupuncture treatments, we went from 90,000 to 271,000. July 27, 2019. That was a year and a half. So you can see those are real, those are quantifiable results. The reason why I bring up the placebo effect is because there's a lot of, there is a lot of mind power that goes in with any kind of healing, even medication. There's like all these research that show that when a person thinks one way, they're going to get these results. And I honor that and I believe that. I do a lot of you know, per mental work. I do a lot of mind hacking, telling myself that I'm going to achieve something, and, I, and then I do. So if you come into my office and you tell me that you have no hope, you're telling me that you don't believe this is gonna work. You're telling me that you think this is gonna be a waste of time, and it will be. Sure enough, six appointments. The beginning phase for easy cases is the first 10 treatments. The beginning phase for chronic issues is the first 20 treatments. You gotta put in time, you gotta put in effort, and it's gonna cost money. I told the patient today who thought six to 10 treatments, she's gonna get pregnant. I said, that's possible, but it's probably not gonna happen that way. Because in my practice for natural fertility, I ask for six to 12 cycles, 12 to 18 cycles, two to, f two to three years. And in my um, video, or in my, uh, excuse me, in my notes that I share with patients, I tell them what to, you know, how many times a, uh, times a week to come, 
between day one of your cycle to day 10. How many times a week you should come between day 10 and day 20. How many times a week you should need to come between day 20 to day 30. And then starting all over. We'll go into detail about this when you come in. I'm not going to use this time to actually go through that process. But I just want to make it clear, the less pressure you put on yourself on time, the less you're saying, oh my gosh, I got my period. I didn't get the pregnant this month and I'm so upset. I'm so sad. Well, that's not going to help your case. You need to be in this place where you feel common. And, and that's where the paradox is. This, I understand every woman who comes in wanting to get pregnant feels the urgency of wanting to get pregnant now. You have to practice patience and you have to practice a less stressful lifestyle and you have to eat more slowly and you really consider should consider acupuncture and herbs or whatever other types of natural healing modality um, if you're doing western fertility care you really still need to lower your stress 2006 um, I saw that uh, IVF had a 35% success rate and acupuncture increases it to 50%. I don't know what the statistics are now, but I highly doubt that the IVF now has an 85% success rate. I'd, I'd have to look. Um, but, I mean, between 2006 and 2019, um, I just don't think that IVF has, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll make, you know, I'm in front of my computer. Let me just see if I can Google something really fast. So IVF success rate. Oh, that pulled up really fast. So um, here you go. For women under age 35 who start an IVF cycle, it's 40%. However, women over 42 have a 4% success rate. So women who do IVF under age 35 who start an IVF, IVF cycle is 40% success rate. So that hasn't changed much since 2006, 2006 when I was um, uh, actively taking Western fertility care cases. However, women over age 42 have a 4% success rate. More f IVF success factors to think about include whether or not you were pregnant previously and if it was with the same factor. And then, you know, um, there's, I, I'm not going to go too much into that. I just wanted to point out the success rate of IVF. So what do I bring into the table? The whole purpose of the acupuncture in my clinic is to increase those r chances of becoming fertile. The book, the healing with, so I want to increase those chances by 85, 95 plus percent. The Healing with Whole Foods book, I want to increase, that book should increase your chances of fertility, in my opinion, by 85 to 95 percent. Again, I want to make it clear, this is all my opinion based on my own personal research, my own work for the last 20 plus years. Um, I put down, be honest with your work hours, falls in line with the stress. Um, so one thing that I draw for patients is there's a circle and 50% of your energy goes towards work every day. 25% go to your, your, everyone else around you and the other 25% to you, that makes up 100%. That's a metaphor, that's just, you know, those are soft numbers, but those are numbers to consider. In an ideal world, 90% of your energy should just go straight to you. But you work, you have family, you have a spouse or a boyfriend or whoever your, um, your partner is. I have patients who, you know, my oldest patient right now is 50, who successfully has done IVF on her own. She's at week 28, and she was on menopause. She did go through menopause, and she did hormone replacement therapy, and she left the country four times. The first three IVF were unsuccessful, and the fourth was successful. A lot of my patients are very high-profile women, lawyers, PhDs, doctors, um, I have patients that have to go through a surrogate. There's a lot. Everyone has their own stories. But it's important to understand that a common thread is the stress involved. So be honest with your work hours. Again, the thing that I like to share with people is in 10 years, you can be an amazing employee or an amazing mother. And it's very rare where a person can work many, many hours and have lots of kids. Um, you know, we just really push ourselves 
And like I said earlier, we go through high school, we go to college, you're expected to work a you know, real big fancy career, make lots of money, but then you know, when is this all happening? All of this is happening during fertility years. And the stress, it's consu the, the energy that the stress is consuming. So when you're looking at your energy during the day, think to yourself, should I conserve some of this energy to be with my, my partner at home and, um, and have sex to have fun, not to get it done? I had a young lady who was in her late 20s about a, a few years ago, and I looked at her workout schedule, and she was working out every night, five plus nights a week. And I said, when do you rest? She said, just Saturday or Sunday. They hang out on Saturdays and just Sundays. And she's in fit shape. Um, I said to her, you can spend your money on acupuncture, but I would recommend you spend at least one, if not three plus nights a week instead of working out, hanging out with your husband at home and just enjoying yourselves. You know, which obviously would hopefully lead to being intimate. Because you're consuming extra kidney chi, extra jing chi, and we'll discuss this in person, but you're consuming the energy that you would use to be intimate with your husband. Um, you're using that energy of your kidneys, your yin, your yang, your jing, your chi. You're using that energy at the gym and I'm here at the gym making this video I practically live here um, and then you know the other gym is where I do Muay Thai and kickboxing I mean I'm on a regimen I, I appreciate working out but if I'm trying to get pregnant I'm not trying to consume all my energy towards working out you only have so much energy in a day really consider conserving that energy for the times, especially when you're ovulating, to be with your partner, especially if you're over 35 years old. This is my opinion. Um, I mentioned the book Healing with Whole Foods. Something, that's, something that I really want you to consider is to eat slowly, to eat hot foods, and to follow um, that book as much as possible. But try not to stress out about your diet. I have a 90-10 rule. Um, I know that the other acupuncturist, the other doctor who was referring to me has, is, has a really strict regimen and I respect him tremendously. If you go to his website, um, if you contact me, I'll give you his website. If you go to his website, you'll see um, his results. I respect his results. He and I practice completely differently, but one thing that I will share is instead of just giving people, eat this, eat this, eat this, don't eat this, don't eat this, don't eat this, don't eat this I want you to be in this habit of understanding this book, Healing with Whole Foods, but especially eating slowly. Take the time to eat. Are you, you're, you're getting this, right? You're understanding that I really care about just taking a lot of time to yourself. Be clear why you want to be a mother. That was my fifth concept. Do not shoulder the fertility issues alone. 40% of fertile, fertility issues is due to the man. You notice that I don't say infertility. Don't ever you're gonna hire me don't ever tell people I'm seeing Anna for infertility I'm not helping you become infertile I'm helping you become fertile if you cannot get pregnant you've tried for a while don't assume that the issue is just you because 40% of fertility issues is the man and if he is if the person that you your partner your husband your your boyfriend or whatever if your partner is stressed out and he's bringing it home that is affecting your energy we will talk more about this privately I'm just giving you the bird's eye view of my opinions as a person who help a lot of women get pregnant, um, either naturally or with Western fertility care. Um, eat better, and I mentioned, eat slower. I mentioned the Whole Foods book by Paul Pitchford. Take time to yourself, that's my eighth concept. And uh, prior, really prioritize yourself. So for example, at 6.45 p.m., my 15-year-old is having her tutoring right now with her math tutor. My baby is, um, the two-year-old is in kids' world, and um, my nine-year-old is in dance class. And, you know, this is my time. This is my time to just relax. Um, I've chosen right now to make a video because this is when I can make videos. It's, it's not this tranquil at home. And... Um, 
Uh, I just know when I can do things, but I don't get to make a video every week. Um, if I'm not work making a video, I'm going to be working out or napping here. That's, you know, I do take a lot of time to myself. I treat myself a lot with acupuncture. Um, so with my treatments, they I ask for at least 45 minutes to an hour. I guarantee 45 minutes. But if I can have at least an hour, great. If you don't give me an alarm to put on my uh, stopwatch, I'm not going to wake you up in acupuncture treatment. I'm going to keep you because this is a huge a huge component to our healing process. Don't underestimate the power of what stress can do to a person's health. It can definitely cause fertility issues. So I'll make it clear, tremendous stress can definitely cause infertility. So if you would like to reverse that and reprogram yourself to be very, very fertile, I would strongly recommend that you take a lot of time to yourself. When I was 43 years old and I was on nat true natural forms of birth control, and we'd always use natural birth control, it always worked for 15 plus years, um, except for the two times that we tried to get pregnant, and they are now 15 and 9 years old. Um, a lot of it is because my mental health was I can get pregnant naturally, I, have a, I think I have a very balanced way of eating. I'm not, I don't have an eating disorder anymore that I had a couple of decades ago. I've healed from my depression and anxiety issues. I lost a lot of weight. I used to be um, 48 pounds heavier between, and then I lost that in 94 to 96. And I lost the 60 pounds with my first baby and then the 45 plus pounds with my second baby. And it takes me about two to three years to lose weight. Um, so my child just turned two. So I'm about five to 10 pounds from my, what I ideally would like to walk at. So even with the weight loss, I'm being very gentle about it. I'm not being so stressed out about it. My 10th um, um, advice was to do acupuncture and Chinese herbs. I re recommend 6 to 12 cycles, 12 to 18 cycles, or 2 to 3 years. I know I really harped on relaxing, and many of you probably think, but I'm, I'm not stressed out. Um, I really want you to pay attention to your lifestyle, because I can tell you if you're very honest with yourself and how you live and your time frame, look up Dr. John Gray, look up his videos dealing with Venus on fire, Mars on ice, one of his, uh, one of my favorite books. Um, look him up regarding hormones, testosterone, estrogen, fertility. You'll get a lot of insight regarding neuroscience and behavior health and how it's affecting your endocrine system. So um, really be honest with yourself on how you can uh, enhance your lifestyle by reducing your stress, eating better, eating more slowly, and all the other concepts that I brought up. All right, please visit my work at elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com. It is slowly being updated. It's going to take me about 3 to 12 months to have all my other work um, just on this website. But um, I think there's enough information so far to show you what my track record is. All right, have a great day. Take care.